Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Riding in badminton. This hat makes me look like I have a very square head. Um, we're just, we're a little bit late, a little behind schedule, but it's okay. The first horse doesn't get, like, start running. Jumping, what would you say? I don't know. It doesn't start until 11.30, so if we get there at about 9ish, then that will be fine. My plan is to go to the lake first, because it always gets very busy. So if I secure my, if I assert my dominance first, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, we're just going to find a Tesco, I don't know if I said that. Because I want to get food, because I don't want to have to get food at the stands. Because I want to be on the course all day. So top tip. Yeah, I was crashed into a car though. I can't wait to leave this town. Cause lately I've been feeling down. The cold nights just don't feel the same. Oh, oh, oh. back my life inside a car. We have arrived at badminton, but with some very sad news that Harry Mead has had to withdraw away cruising. Um, so I'm sad to not see them compete, but the competition looks good. I'm not pretending to know any of this stuff. We've secured a spot at yeah, the lake. We have secured a spot at the lake. But we should have left earlier, to be honest. Yeah. That was a fatal error, schoolboy error. But now we're just. Mistakes, now we're just going to have a wander before the action begins and then I'd ideally like to stay on the course all day, but we shall see. Come on, do it again.
Pretty much the second half. No, we've done like first half of the course. Yeah, but we started at the next. Yeah. My dominant's plan did not go to plan. My dominant's plan. The dominant's plan. My dominant. It didn't go to. It didn't work. Um, <laughs> Harry Mead withdrew away cruising. You know that. Tom yeah. Chris retired with Queen's Archery. A lot of people. Alexander Bragg withdrew as well. Um, Emily King was eliminated. Someone else? No. Yeah. I don't know. That's what, that's what I know. <laughs> well done and she said how can she grow up to become as good as you is she no good at tennis <laughs> it's a lot 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 more straightforward as a sport um i think it just comes down to hard work but at the same time you know it's fairly obvious at this stage that i've come from a fairly normal background and you know hard work works and dreams come true and you just get up every morning and push to your backside, work hard, work hard, keep looking forward, stay positive. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, okay. so it's the end of the day at badminton. Um, it was a good day, nice day out, always nice to come here. It's my fave part of the year, except from the impending doom of exams that comes with it. Um, hence why not staying for the show jumping, because I've got too much revision to do. Um, so yeah, Sara wants some churros. Where is she? Mm -hmm. She's there. So we're going to get those, and then we're going to go home. Um. Looking forward to a three hour drive. We are tired. This has probably been a really boring vlog because I haven't said anything and what I have said is boring. So apologies. Um, apologies for being a boring person. 
yeah sorry everyone <laughs> um Oliver Town End is in the lead at the moment um with like 21 penalties Piggy French is second with 26 or 8 I can't really remember and Christopher Burton is third I don't know how many penalties he has but he on both of his rides was inside the optimum time and he is the only rider to have been inside the optimum time on one of Eric Winter's courses. Eric Winter is the guy who designed badminton course. I think for the past two or three years, he's started designing it very recently. So there you go, fact of the day. Yeah, oh, that's really big, thank you. Um, so now we're going to drive home. I'm driving home. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Might end up crashing. In that case, this vlog will never make it to YouTube. But it might not even make it to YouTube anyway, because I might not have it, even have time to edit it. So if, if you've watched this far, and I've edited it, a big pat on the back to me, because I've obviously done enough revision so to just- you know just change your shoes? Yeah, but I'm just explaining stuff to the vlog. Um, creds to me, because I've obviously done enough revision to justify spending time editing this vlog or I've just done no revision and in that case not good to me either way we're back home um, driving was kind of successful I did almost why is this there we go I did almost crash uh, but I didn't so that's what counts um yeah it took like two and a half ish hours and on the m4 they have this section of the motorway which just is 50 miles an hour which doesn't sound bad theoretically but it's so boring but it was fun we got home in one piece um yeah i can't remember if i said on the vlog or if i said it to my snapchat but i absolutely love badminton it just makes me so happy seeing all of the riders and horses going round. Like it must, it must be like, obviously it takes so much hard work and dedication to get yourself and your horse up to that level. And it's so gutting to like hear of a like rider that's been eliminated because of a fall or had to retire. But obviously like you've got to do what all withdrawn uh as a lot of cases this year a lot of people withdrew this year but obviously you have to do what's best for your horse so it's nicer to see although it's a shame um for them not to compete it's nice to see people doing what's right by their horse um but in a way like obviously badminton inspires me um and i would have you would have seen the um clip of oliver townend i put in of him talking at the chat zone and yeah if you, you just work hard that's what's going through my head right now um i have exciting news to say to say to tell you um regarding like what i'm doing after my a levels but all will be revealed um i'm planning to do like quite a few vlog series video series i don't know on that so i'll you'll obviously see and i'll let you know when that comes out but yeah, it really inspires me just to like keep working hard and get get going really. Um yeah. Work hard. That's that's what you gotta do. You just gotta put your mind to it and dedicate yourself, haven't you? So thanks for listening to my TED talk. This has probably been so incredibly dull. So if you've made it this far, well done. <laughs> um I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, I hope I edited it well and I did it justice and didn't try and rush through it because of revision. Have a nice um, day, evening, tomorrow, whenever you're watching this. Thanks for watching. Congrats if you made it this far. Hope it didn't bore you to death. And I'll see you for the next one, whenever that will be, probably after my exams. We'll rejoice for that moment. Oh yeah, and I did ask my dad to film on the way back, like, the pretty sunset because it was so gorgeous. But he didn't, he fell asleep. 
that's probably why I nearly crashed. So, thanks Tim. <laughs>